The crypto markets have been in a downtrend in 2022 with the Ukraine-Russia crisis, news of Biden signing an executive order on crypto regulation, recession fears and being correlated to a correction in the S&P 500. There's new bullish news for Cardano investors though. Its developers announced three major upgrades will be rolled out in 2022, one implemented so far. Hey everyone, you're watching Crypto University where you get all of the latest news about crypto, blockchain, NFTs. So guys, make sure to watch this video until the end and hit that like button if you find it informative and unique. Also, beware of the scam comments in the comment section. Don't give anyone your personal info or even sign on to an anonymous site. We'll never ask you to contact us on WhatsApp. In this video, we'll talk about three main things. What is Cardano used for? Its price prediction for 2025 and can it beat Ethereum? Let's get started. Founded in 2014 by Charles Hoskinson and Jeremy Wood, Cardano is an open source, decentralized, third generation proof of stake blockchain project intended to be more efficient, scalable and environmentally friendly than proof of work networks like Ethereum. That's a mouthful, but its basic aim and mission statement is to provide financial services, including peer-to-peer -peer or P2P payments using its native cryptocurrency ADA, smart contracts and dApps, to an unbanked population of the globe, which it has termed RealFi. Smart contracts give anyone access to banking, using a public decentralized ledger, removing middlemen, bankers and brokers like Western Union or PayPal. PayPal stocks crashed 25% in their worst ever trading day in February 2022, losing $50 billion in valuation. So Cardano is a central part of the decentralized finance, gaining ground on traditional financial institutions and within DeFi itself. Ethereum at one point had almost 100% dominance and market share within DeFi, which has since lowered to 70% due to Cardano, Solana and Polkadot picking up momentum. The ADA coin price went on to make new all-time highs in 2021, but many Cardano investors would have capitulated and sold their bags during the multi-year bear market between those two bull cycles. Some new additions to the Cardano community will have bought the top at $3 and now be wondering if Cardano will go up in 2022 or if they should sell now. If it does retrace to the 30 cent support level where it opened for trading on Binance when it was first listed there, it will have repeated past price history and fully retraced a bull cycle. If it then repeats its past bullish performance in a fractal pattern and the top of the next bull run for the Cardano is again 3x higher than the previous one, that would put Cardano at $10. Cardano price prediction 2022. For the Nasdaq analysts, Cardano forecast of $10 in 2022 is to play out at this point. It would likely require the current red monthly candle on the Cardano price chart to close green, leaving only a wick and short deviation below support, a fake out to the downside before reclaiming $1. That would be achievable if Bitcoin were to move up to $48,000 25% higher over the next month or two, achievable if a ceasefire in Ukraine is reached after talks between world leaders. Alternatively, the Cardano upgrades could increase investor confidence in ADA, enough for it to decouple from Bitcoin and move up on its own. However it happens, ADA would need to get back above $1 as soon as possible and rally to test the $1.5 $2 level. That's possible based on a chart even as part of a short squeeze and putting in a lower high before further downside, shots rarely get a free ride all the way down. Cardano price prediction 2023. In the short term bearish case, it could take until 2023 for Cardano to flip the $1 level back to support as we marked out on our Cardano crypto price chart. Historically, Cardano has been slow to implement fundamental updates on its roadmap or see the benefits of them. The Cardano community has also been the target of FUD, of fear, uncertainty and doubt on social media. Founder Charles Hoskinson once commented, you don't see this in other industries. You don't see it in physics or biology or cell phone manufacturing or whatever an industry the amount of tribalism hate and vitriol that our industry has for each other investor place has warned in a market insight a recession may also be coming which would not bode well for the financial markets especially more risk on assets like altcoins in bear markets, coin prices still don't move up in response to positive news updates. In the most bearish case, Cardano could enter another multi-year bear market in a sideways trading range under $1 if it needs more time to accumulate before the next cycle. The advantage of that is that the longer the accumulation, the more explosive the upward move. On our Cardano price prediction chart, we marked out the price support level at $1, which was retested five times by monthly candles in 2021. It could take a similar period of time to flip that as support 
support again before going up to test the $2 level. Closing a monthly candle above $2 would be strong signal of bullish continuation as it would only be the third monthly candle in Cardano's price history to close there and we'd favor bulls over the bears for a retest of the ATH by the end of 2023 if it manages to break $2 in 2023. The next Bitcoin halving is projected to take place in March 2024 and the 2021 crypto bull run took place shortly after the 2020 Bitcoin halving. That saw Bitcoin move past its previous stop of $20,000 to $69,000 and the total crypto market cap go from $1 trillion to $3 trillion. Assuming Cardano holds its relative values versus Bitcoin on the ADA BTC pair, now $0.00002, then if the Bitcoin price one day hits $500,000, as some investors predict, that would put the ADA coin price at $10. That's based on Cardano not underperforming or outperforming Bitcoin from this point in time onwards, only holding stable in relation to it. 0.00002 ADA per BTC is an important historical confluence level, being support in 2018, resistance in 2019 and 2020, and then support again in 2021. Cardano versus Bitcoin. Our thesis is that Bitcoin is gold 2.0, that it will disrupt gold as a store of value. If it does that, it has to have a market cap of $9 trillion, so we think it could price one day at $500,000 per Bitcoin. Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, founders of Gemini Exchange, became billionaires through investing in Bitcoin after, allegedly, Mark Zuckerberg stole the idea for Facebook from them at Harvard. The social media giant has since rebranded to Meta, and Metaverse crypto projects have entered the markets. Alternatively, ADA Bitcoin could retest its previous ADH of just under $0.0009, while Bitcoin was just at over $100,000, that would also place the ADA coin price at $10. Therefore, in the long term, $10 does seem achievable for Cardano. Cardano has lower gas fees than Ethereum, so is a growing part of the NFT market. It has, at points, been hailed as an Ethereum killer that could flip Ethereum in market cap one day. It could do that at a price of $10, assuming the Ethereum price remains stable. In the most bearish case, developments to ETH 2.0 could improve gas fees and transaction speeds of Ethereum, removing some of the use cases of Cardano. Other altcoins and Layer 1 crypto projects can also compete with ADA to be an Ethereum killer, for example Solana. Also, all altcoin projects can potentially be abandoned by developers. Unlike Bitcoin, whose creator Satoshi Nakamoto is a mystery, altcoins have routinely died and never recovered when the developers moved on to other projects. Example, Litecoin has been in a bear market versus Bitcoin for four years since founder Charlie Lee left and famously sold his coins at around $400 level. Cardano is still 4,000% higher than its initial trading price. Some altcoins have dropped 90% and then another 90% on top of that. It's not unheard of in crypto. That kind of a price crash would put Cardano back to 2 cents, although it's unlikely to happen given the range of crypto projects running on Cardano. It would need a black swan event affecting the entire crypto markets, and even those can be temporary after the March 2020 COVID crash where Bitcoin dumped to $4,000, crypto rallied to new highs within months. One point of view is that the lower a crypto asset goes, the higher it can then go. As longs are liquidated and more of the asset can be held by diamond hands, holders that buy the dip to low prices and will never sell. The pandemic crypto crash may have been the catalyst allowing it to reach new highs. That wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace out.